what's going on guys we're doing some tire swapping i still got to put the uh the axe body back on this chassis i like the purple truck look actually and them wheels look good with it but i'm gonna paint the white letters later they just don't perform well and that truck's already in a little bit of an underdog against the trx force and i think they look pretty good on the bronco so we're gonna swap them with the bronco for now and you know that's just temporary i like to match, match things around every now and again just to check performance on them anyway so let me swap those and see how it looks from here well all right i think that looks pretty good either way even though the red don't match it so much those really look good on that truck and this purple body is not going to be on here much longer i'm going back to my axe body see what i mean and they just look good on there now. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of one of these stripes. What do you guys think? Might even get rid of this one I put on here. I'd almost rather put Trill down there with like the red sticker. But I've already done that on the purple one with the white sticker, I think. So, anyway, I do love that look. It's a shame they don't perform well. Now, the center caps are a pain in the butt even it's okay just to put a couple screws at least but you don't want to just leave them off because it's simple to change that way because when i got my blazer two of the tires i just about never got off because the studs have been beat against the rocks and they're kind of long and they were sticking out and they were all tore up i like to never got the wheels off of the truck so when you got studs like this just disposed you're going to tear them up anyway. So you might as well put the caps, even if you just put a few studs, whatever. These ones you almost have to put off high because there's actually no holes. The screw itself just holds in place like a real car, kind of. And that's how they stay in. But let me go ahead and button all that up. And like I said, that just looks so much better. Even the pain in the butt of the center caps, these ones, since they're straight across, I only got two in each one. That's the way I got them, actually, and that's the way I kept them. These ones, you, like I was saying, you have to use all five because there's no loop holding the screw. It's just the edge of the screw, like your thumbnail, catching each spot all the way around, you know. There's a little lip on the metal, barely. So... These studs are long on this truck. The TRX4 are made to have, you can screw on the little uh, center caps and stuff. But as long as you go around and you tighten them up a little each one and get it on straight, it still holds it perfect, even though it could be tighter if it needs a shorter wheel stud underneath it. But it works just fine. To be honest, it looks really good. It kind of looks like a Ford wheel in a way, even though it's probably more of a Jeep wheel, I guess. And I, I, like I said already, I love that. I actually really liked them red rims on the Blazer when I had them on there. And I didn't need the wheel extension or nothing with those. Something I wouldn't mind testing later is just see if them wheels that are on the Blazer would fit this without them. Because on the TRX4, they rubbed the portals. So I had to use the extension. On here, I haven't never tested to see if the rim would rub the portals. I don't know yet, but I know all these other ones work just fine. It's dark outside already, so I'm not going to be able to just go out there and make a nice test video or anything right now. But something I have been thinking about doing, is as soon as I get a little extra money, I was going to get some Desert Lizard Shocks, another Hobbywing 1080 ESC, and put it in the red cat to where it's competitive to the trx4 i got there that's up you know the one that's upgraded pretty good and then do a really good head to head with both of them kind of in tip top shape at the same time right now the esc is just a big underdog in the red cat compared to both the other ones so for now guys this is pretty much it just a little tire swap in comparison see how i like the way they look 
I still got to come up with a way to keep screws from falling out of the gladiator body there that I haven't done a lot with. I've been looking online. Axles ain't cheap. And I'm still trying to get this uh, steering link for the Red Cat. I need to find one I can get ordered. I need the long rod that just connects the wheels. The one I had, the stud, uh, probably on this side, but it broke off in the shaft itself. It's broke off even. So I can't just pull the piece out or none of that. You know what I mean? So anyway, we'll just keep this one short and sweet. The old truck still looks good with them Traxxas wheels on it too. I ain't gonna lie. I don't mind it. So, until next time, please hit that like and subscribe button. Help out the channel a little bit. Maybe one day we'll be able to get some better content going. Obviously right now I'm a low budget RC guy. I fund it all myself. There's not too much things that are given to me. I have had some help from people like Robert at KMS Winches. We did a little trade, which I still have to get the body to him. I've been held up on that. And the RC plate shop, they are awesome people. They sent me my tags. They're on the other truck. <laughs> they sent me my tags. Let me get these out there a little bit. Help them, help them grow, I hope. Maybe they'll make some kind of business. But man, I love my RC tags, my Easy Boy RC tags, my bad. I just think they're so legit having an expiration date and everything. So don't forget to check out the uh, the plate shop, guys. The RC plate shop. Hit them up on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Just go uh, rcplateshop.com and you'll find what you need. Do some shopping. All right, guys. Peace.